Hi babes, welcome back to my channel. My name is Will Beauty and I'm going to be showing you how to properly tease out your synthetic wigs so you can get big drag queen volume. Before we get started, make sure you're subscribed to my channel, make sure to like this video and check back on all my other videos to learn about wig styling. So there are so many ways to tease out a synthetic wig. I want to show you the technique I've come up with over this past year that works really well for me. I always kind of played around a lot with how I tease, but I think I've really found the technique that gives the most volume with just one wig. So let me show you how to properly tease out your synthetic wigs. So I lost my audio here, but bear with me. So basically, I always recommend doing a roller set or at least steaming your wig out first because a brand new wig out of the bag is very slick. Doing a roller set gives it grit, which makes it much easier to tease than a wig right out of the bag. So I always use one of these really cheap teasing brushes. They're what work for me. It's what I've used for about, I don't know, seven years. I love them. So you don't need a fancy brush. So most people think teasing is just packing some hair at the root, and that's okay, but I like to take it one step further and it makes a huge difference. As you can see here, I'm literally pulling that hair that I teased down through to the other side. So I have the hair held up high, I'm teasing the hair down, and then I pull the hair all the way through and down. And what this does is it really makes a nice cushion of hair at the root of the section, which is where you really wanna concentrate all of your volume and teasing so the hair lifts itself up. So after I tease all of that down, I take a brush. I have this one from Con Air. It has like all these sides. It's nice and sturdy. So I usually just take the longer bristles and then I really pack that hair down at the root again. I'm not pulling it through this time. I'm just packing that down. And as you can see, this hair is like holding itself up completely. It's like horizontal at the root of the section. And that's exactly what you want. So now here I am just sped up. I want you to see me teasing these sections from different angles. And as you can see, again, I'm just teasing and pulling that hair all the way through, packing it down with that brush. And I always follow up with hairspray. Every once in a while, I take a brush and I just brush out the ends only. I do not go up very high. It just makes my life easier when I'm doing finished styling. So here I am from another section. I just want you to see again how I'm packing that hair down and pulling it through to the other side. So here's how the wig looked totally teased out. I leave the fringe or kind of main front accent in rollers to do last. So I'll do all of this and then I'll brush it and finish style it. And then I'll do the little kind of finger wave in the front last. It just makes my life a little easier. But this is the kind of volume you are looking for when you are teasing out synthetic wigs. So teasing is really the foundation of synthetic wig styling. I always tell people when they're new, really practice your teasing and get a good handle of the technique before you jump into perfecting, finish styling, all that. Of course, you want to finish your wigs, but don't get too hung up on the finish styling and smoothing out the hair until you really have a good grasp on how to properly tease out your synthetic wigs, especially if you want big, big drag queen volume. So off camera, I'm going to finish styling her so you can see what this turns into. And I'm excited for you to see the final product. So here's the wig completely finished up. It's amazing how you can go from a teased out rat's nest to a gorgeous, smooth, synthetic wig. So really, like I said, make sure you're practicing that teasing technique. It is the foundation for good wig styling. And until you have that teasing technique down pat, you will not be able to get big, smooth, gorgeous drag queen wigs. So I hope you guys like this video. Let me know what you want to see next. I want to cover finish styling. I have so many video ideas. I am excited to be doing wig videos again. Let me know what you want to see in the comments below or if you have any questions about wig styling, make sure to be subscribed to my channel, hit the notification bell, and make sure to like this video. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at shopwillbeauty. You can shop this style or all of my other wigs at shopwillbeauty.com. And I'll see you in the next video. Toodles.